Richard, welcome back to the WEC. At Le Mans, you helped Aston Martin on their way to clinching the manufacturer's title, and now you're back with the team for Bahrain. What are you most looking forward to about being back behind the wheel of the Aston, Ma Aston Martin Vantage AMR? Well, as we saw in Le Mans, it's, uh, it's a great car and a very successful car. Um, it's obviously won the Manufacturers World Championship, so it's a good car to be in. Um, but I'm here on circumstances that I didn't expect. Um, obviously, my heart goes out to Alex. It's really, as a driver, I mean, I can't imagine what he's going through, especially when he's going for a World Championship win. So, but I'm going to do my best for Alex and try and make him proud and uh, do my best for Max as well, who obviously has a chance uh, to become a solo world champion. So it's uh, different circumstances, but yeah, really looking forward to getting back in the Aston. And you won your first GT race here back in 2005. Yeah. So this is clearly a track which has special memories for you. How does it feel to be back here racing again? It's, yeah, it's weird. It's, you know, in GT racing, it was probably the first international event I did. Uh, it was in the Porsche Super Cup supporting the Formula One and came here as, you know, really green as a little kid in 2005 and managed to get a win. And then um, it really set my career up. So it's, you know, I've got nothing but good memories uh, of Bahrain. So it's really, really cool to be back. Nothing's changed, which is good. Um, it's such a nice facility. Um, so doesn't need changing in any way and uh, no, it's really good to be back and uh, looking forward to it. Best of luck for the weekend. Thank you, cheers.